Uh, here's a method I've used to flash 80 mega 8 MCU based speed controllers, uh, generally for brushless use. Um, so let's crack on. Uh, the brushless motor we'll be using is one of these PropDrive 4248s you can commonly get on Hobby King. Um, we'll pair it up with a red brick uh, ESC. Uh, these are fairly common and also dirt cheap. This method has also been used for a number of other different speed controllers um, and also to cut flash on brushed firmware um, for TZ85s, etc. Uh, so you'll need one of these things, which is a USB ASP available from eBay and an Atmel flashing tool which is available from Hobby King. Um, and a list of the following software will need to be installed before you, you start. So first things first, let's take the, the existing wrap off the, the speed controller. Um, we'll need to do this because we need to actually get at the, the circuit board um, in order to perform any of the flashing. Um, so we'll just go ahead and just pull that right off. It's a little bit of effort. Let's get rid of the label. If it isn't clear at this point, this will void your warranty. So yeah, don't try and send these back to uh, Hobby King once you've uh, done this process. They won't like it too much. So here it is unwrapped. And the next thing we need to do is remove the heat sink. Uh, on this specific um, speed controller, the uh, the MCU is actually underneath the, the heatsink, so let's go ahead and remove that. There's also some glue and stuff, you'll need to kind of get this off um, carefully without ripping any of the, the PCB when you do so. So we have the 80 mega 8, we also have some gate driver chips, and a good old trusty 5 volt regulator. So to connect the flasher tool, connect it all up to USB, and then align with the tool, the red dot to the little dot on the actual uh, MCU itself, and then just push down and hold on it firmly. So in AVR Dude S, uh, we will select the programmer, in this case USB A ASP, and in the top right, 80 mega 8, and we'll click detect. All being well, we should get this detected line. If not, go and check connections. Make sure you push down on the uh, the tool correctly. You'll need a custom Simon K, um, but that will be explained in a separate video. Um, there's a number of steps to actually building the firmware in the first place. But once you've got the firmware, uh, enter it into the, the flash area. Select right, and then click go. You should get a... Um, done thank you. Again if you don't go back and just check on the steps just to make sure you followed everything. And all we need to do now is repackage the, the speed controller. Um, I wouldn't recommend running it without things like the, the heatsink attached to it. Um, it has a heatsink for a reason. Um, although I'll be honest on these particular ones it's kind of cheap. So yeah. Nevertheless, get some heat, heat shrink wrap um, and put it all back together and you've got some nicely uh, repackaged speed controllers. So if you've ever used Simon K before, uh, you'll know that you should listen out for the three beeps that it makes as a startup. If you only hear two or any other different pattern, then you need to go back and check your steps, make sure you've got it right. So here we go, let's test. direction. And the other. Thanks for watching.